Hey guys, my name is Ariana and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys two recipes that you can make from a rotisserie chicken that you pick up at the store or you can make it from your own chicken that you roasted at home in the crock pot. If you guys could like and subscribe this channel and this video, that'd be so awesome. Thanks guys, see you in the kitchen. So instead of using a rotisserie chicken, I'm going to be using a whole chicken and cooking it into the crock pot, which will come out similar to a rotisserie chicken. So any of these recipes you can use a rotisserie chicken for, but if you're like me and you have a little bit of a discount, um, area at your Aldi's. I got this thing for 50% off, so it only came out to like $3 and a little bit more than $3. And it's one of those ones that have no antibiotics and all that, so that was a really good deal. So I'm going to be putting this into the crock pot. I'm not going to really do much to the chicken besides add some olive oil on top, some salt and pepper because we're going to be seasoning it in the recipes that I'm going to show you later on so let me get this thing in and i'll show you guys okay after you wash off your chicken you're going to place it inside the crock pot and we're going to grab some olive oil salt and pepper and we're going to drizzle that on there okay i got my olive oil salt and pepper first thing you want to do is add the olive oil so the seasoning will stick i'm going to add a little bit it's probably good for the whole entire bird it's very small it's not that big okay okay and I'll put the oil everywhere. Then we're going to, let me wash my hands, be right back. And after I wash my hands, I put the pepper on and it takes me two hands to use it. And I'm recording with the other one, so I couldn't do that on camera. After that, we're gonna add our salt. You can be generous with the salt. It's good for now. I know it's just salt and pepper, it's nothing crazy. It's only because we're going to be seasoning it after in the recipes, like I said before. Um, so please don't think I under season my chicken. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna put the lid on. And I'm gonna put it on high. And four hours later, we're gonna have some nice cooked chicken. And like I said, alternatively, if you just wanna skip this step and get a rotisserie chicken from the store, that's fine by me. And here's the final product, my completely cooked bird. And the next thing we're going to do is shred it up. And here is the meat all shredded up. And it was about a pound of meat. And we're going to use this in our two recipes. So please stick around. Hey guys, okay, so the first meal we are going to be making with our half of a chicken, whether it's a rotisserie chicken or you made it in the crock pot like I showed you, is going to be a chicken taco soup. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make that. And it's not from a recipe, I actually made it up myself. I mean, they're all kind of very similar. So this is my take on chicken taco soup. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is gather all of our ingredients. We got some olive oil, black beans, corn, crushed tomatoes, rice, diced onion. I had some taco seasoning over there. And you're gonna to wanna to set your pan to medium heat. You're gonna to wanna to grab your olive oil Add it to the pan. Next, you're gonna add your diced onion. It's about one medium diced onion. So, you know, just eyeball it. You don't have to add too much, but you don't wanna do too little. Start sauteing that so it softens up a bit. We're gonna add our whole can of crushed tomatoes. I think it's a 28 ounce. You can also use diced tomatoes, but my husband doesn't like the chunks or whatever, so I just used a whole can of crushed tomatoes for this recipe. Add it on in. Then you're gonna add your corn, a whole can of that, and make sure you rinse the corn and the beans as well. Drain out the liquid and rinse them. I use black beans here, but you could also use pinto beans, you know, uh, kidney beans, whatever you guys like and mix that together. After that, you're gonna wanna take your empty crushed tomato can and you're gonna wanna fill it up with water and then add that water to your soup. Thank you. 
After you add your water, you're gonna wanna grab some rice. Get about a half cup of rice. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says half cup. Add that in. After you add your rice in, you're gonna wanna turn up the heat so you can start bringing this to a boil. Stir it again and just wait for it to come to a boil. I also ended up adding more water because I wanted a thinner soup with the rice. So I just filled up the crushed tomato can once more and then I added another um, cup of water in there. So pretty basic. Then you're gonna wanna get your chicken bouillon out. I just used this Orrington Farms brand. You can use whatever you like. And I grabbed about a couple teaspoons of it. You can just eyeball it. And if it's not salty enough, just add more salt at the end. It's really not that big of a deal. I like soups like this because you can just play with the flavors and you can make it how you want it. And I also added the taco seasoning packet to that, of course. And now that it's brought to a boil, I'm going to mix it again. And I'm also going to turn down the heat so it doesn't over evaporate and that it cooks the rice. And you can see how the rice is kind of puffed up there. So just turn that heat back down. So after you turn the heat back down, you're going to want to take your half of your shredded chicken from that yummy rotisserie chicken or homemade chicken, whichever one you chose, and you're going to add that into your soup. And after you let your soup simmer for about 20 minutes, it should be all set and ready to go. And like I said earlier, if you need to add more salt, go for it. Make sure you taste test it. Don't burn your tongue, obviously. And I needed some more salt in mine, so I added some more. Stir that around, of course. It looks so good, and it tasted really good, too. I know this isn't really a summer dish, but I was feeling soup this night. And, you know, fall's coming soon, so it's great for fall. And that rice is fully cooked. After it's done cooking, just plate it in a bowl. And you can shred up some cheese. I had some white cheddar cheese. Tasted so good on that. And you can also add some sour cream. Whatever you like. Just pile it on top. You can also do some hot sauce, too. That's a great option. I'm having the soup right now and it tastes really really good um be sure to add lime on it and it just elevates the flavor it's so good so good i'm excited for you guys to try this and i will have another recipe coming up next the next recipe is a chicken pot pie with a biscuit crust and you're going to want to chop up all your veggies to start some carrots some onions and celery Put that in a cast iron skillet and you're gonna get ugh, sorry you're gonna add a half or quarter cup of butter to that and put that on medium heat and just saute those for about 20 minutes till they're really soft then you're gonna want to add some peas i added about um a third of a cup i would say of peas whatever you think is best then i sprinkled on some thyme dried thyme all over that and I also sprinkled on some parsley flakes. You could use fresh or, you know, or dried. It doesn't really matter. I just eyeball these things. So I sprinkle that on. And next, we're going to get our salt. And we're going to get our pepper out. And we're going to sprinkle that on too. And then we're going to add about a quarter cup of flour to those veggies after they've been sauteing for 20 minutes. And we're going to just mix around all that yummy yumminess together. And just let that saute a little bit to bring out the flavor. And this is going to be the base of our sauce, basically. Then I had some homemade bone broth, added that in. That's about two cups of homemade bone broth in there. Mix that all together and it'll end up thickening up. And then I added some heavy cream. I think I added about a quarter cup. You could also use half and half if you wanted. It's just to make the sauce a little bit creamy. I like to eyeball these recipes, but you know, it's probably about a quarter cup. Sorry guys. <laughs> then I added the rest of my chicken to this. And then I just mixed it all together, broke up those pieces a little bit better. 
and then just continue to simmer it a little bit till it really thickens up. What I like about this is that you can just place the biscuits on top of the pan that you cooked in so less, dis ugh, less dishes to clean. It's amazing. And then I just bought like the off-brand of the Flicky Pillsbury Biscuits at Aldi. And I like this one because you don't have to, you know, slave away and roll out the dough and make your own pie crust, which I like to do, but not when I'm busy. So this is an option that's really quick and just as delicious in my opinion. Place that in an oven. We have it on 350. And we're going to bake this bad boy for about 20 minutes. And it will be nice and golden brown at the end. And here's the finished product. It turned out really, really good. This is the first time I've actually ever made this. And I really loved it. And I think it was a heck of a lot easier, like I said before, than making the dough. And it was even easier than using the store-bought crust. Because all you had to do is plop the dough on top and then just bake it so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching thank you guys for joining me for this recipe video and i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i really hope you guys try this recipe these recipes out and if you don't mind like i said in the beginning if you could like and subscribe that'd be awesome leave a comment let me know if you like these or if you didn't and thank you and have a great night